I'm weird. All right. <laughs> y cubed equals negative 27. So, oh, what the oh, heck? Cube root. Oh, cube root. Thank you. All right. Isaac says he's going to do this one for us. Oh. Here we go. All right. So, this is what I was saying. Like, you just, if you cube root that, and then you cube root that, and then that's negative 3. How do you know? Because negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27. Very good. Let's put that in then. Y equals negative 3. This one is not positive and negative because it's a cube root now. By the way, and like Isaac said, if we show that negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 would indeed give us that negative 27. So it even checks off.